Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between autonomous investment and induced investment. An investment can be understood as that part of the person's income which is spent into financial schemes, with an aim of further production of capital assets. Investments are preferred over deposits, as they fetch higher returns, subject to the safety of funds and return is guaranteed. From the points of view of the whole economy, there are two types of investments, autonomous investment and induced investment. Autonomous investment is called so because it is independent of the national income. But on the other hand, induced investment is related to the changes in national income. So, let's look into the basic differences between autonomous investment and induced investment in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Autonomous investment means an investment which remains unaffected by the changes in the level of income, rate of interest and rate of profit. On the other hand, induced investment is one which is positively related to the level of income, output and profit. Number 2. As we can see in this figure, the income increases from M1 to M2 but the investment amount remains constant, at both the levels. So, in the case of autonomous investment, the quantum of investment remains the same on every income level, on the other hand, as we can see in this figure, as the income level increases from M1 to M2, the investment amount also shifts from I1 to I2, denoting that the investment is positively related to the level of income. Therefore, the curve is upward sloping towards the right. So, induced investment is income elastic, that means when the income level is high, the investment will also increase. Number 3. When it comes to elasticity, autonomous investment is said to be income inelastic, because the volume of autonomous investment remains constant, at all the income levels. Whereas, induced investment is income elastic, as the quantum of investment increases with the increase in the level of income. Number 4. While autonomous investment is unrelated to the national income, induced investment is positively related to national income. This is because, autonomous investment remains unchanged or unaffected by the change in income, but induced investment tends to increase or decrease with the change in the income. Number 5. Induced investment is influenced by the endogenous variables such as the price of factors of production, wages, consumer demand, the existing stock of capital, level of stock exchange activity and interest changes. But on the flip side, Autonomous investment is affected by exogenous variables, as in innovation, invention, government policy, political stability, growth in population, researches, labor movement, etc. Number 6. Autonomous investment is not influenced by the consumer demand for goods and services, in fact, it affects the demand. Whereas, demand is one of the factors which influences induced investment, that is if the consumption demand rises. Investment is made to fulfill the demand by supplying the goods and services. Number 7. Autonomous investment is undertaken by the government, with social welfare perspective, whereas, induced investment is made with a profit motive in mind. It can also be said that it is the profit which induces the investor to invest. Number 8. Talking about the curve, autonomous investment curve is always parallel to x axis, whereas, induced investment curve slopes upwards towards the right indicating positive functional relation between income and investment. And, difference number 9, autonomous investment is generally made by the government, be it central government, state government or local self-government, whereas, induced investment is undertaken by private individuals and firms. The investment made by the government or private firms in economic and social sectors comes under autonomous investment, that is, expenditure on buildings, dams, roads, tunnels, canals, flyovers, schools, hospitals, and so forth. On the other hand, the increase in national income followed by increased consumption, that is, demand for goods and services will increase. Hence, the firms will be bound to increase the supply for which they need to invest in capital assets, that is plant and machinery, which comes under induced investment. So, these are the differences between autonomous investment and induced investment. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.